welcome to Flipper Frank Reviews. Now, I know it's been a minute since you've seen your old buddy Flipper Frank, so I know you're all saying, hey, where you been, man? Well, last few months have been a little tough. I ain't gonna lie. What with uh, NECA products being more available and not selling out super fast and uh, G.I. Joe classified just everywhere, it seems that no one needs old Flipper Frank, which means nowadays your buddy Frank's been flipping something else. Burgers. That's right. I uh, got a job at the Denny's by the train tracks. It's a good gig, though. I got health insurance. I got to eat whatever those late nighters can't finish. I had a half a moon over my hammies last night. That's <laughs> that's good eating. But uh, that's been the state of things. Seems like people think that they don't need a flipper anymore. They're like, Frank, what do I need you? I can just get the figure directly. Is that really what you want? You going direct to the distributors like that? What happens if, uh, if the box is damaged? Well, what if it's uh, uh, missing pieces? You think you're just gonna be able to take it back? No, end meets no, no. They don't care about you. But see, your flippers, they check all that for you. They're the middleman. They make sure that you are getting the most quality product that you can get. Cutting us out of the game, it's it's not right. It's like the uh, it's like the, the, the death of the milkman. Flippers are America. Although I also sell international. eBay link in the description. But forget all that, okay? Gray skies are clearing up because I'm back on top, baby. And that's what this video is about because I'm taking a look at the TMNT NECA April O'Neil Signature Edition. Now, I've been waiting a while for this sucker, and thank God it came because none of my stuff has been moving. But I know on eBay, people have been getting $300, $400 for him, so uh, I don't think I'm going to be flipping burgers for much longer. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this sucker up right here. All right, comes with, uh, looks like, a little envelope here. I don't know what's supposed to be in there. We'll check that out in a second. And then you get... The whole figure comes with this uh, neat bubble wrap, okay? Uh, I've been using this uh, bubble wrap as a pillow. It's been pretty comfortable so far, so uh, I'll just kind of add this to the pile. So let's go ahead and take this sucker out. Uh, yeah, there you go. April O'Neil Signature Edition. Uh, this is bent right here. I don't, I don't like that, but uh, let's go ahead and ignore that. So it pretty much looks like the old April O'Neil. Doesn't say anything about signature on the box. Just says uh, Ultimate April O'Neil. <laughs> I don't know if I like that, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, just kind of open the window box. All right. Uh, so looks like it's the uh, same figure. All right. Got the same uh, uh, Pinocchio knees and uh, same face as everything right here. Mad Hatter kind of let me uh, use his backdrop. I, I wish I lived here, but I don't. Oh, you see right in the back, it's got that uh, that raincoat. Okay. So I guess they just took a regular April O'Neil and they just uh, stuffed the raincoat right in the back. Uh, see if we can maybe pull that out just to show it to you guys, just to uh, kind of entice everybody that this ain't just the regular meat and potatoes April O'Neil. Let's take a look at what's in this uh, envelope here. So we got this envelope. Looks like some spy shit. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up. All right. Oh, well, there you go. There's uh, the uh, uh, the uh, press badge right here. It says Channel 3 Press. And that's got April O'Neil's uh, 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 signature. Uh, uh, Jenny Hogg. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So it looks like it's just a regular April O'Neil figure plus this signature plus a, a cheap raincoat in there. Uh, but hey, I'm, I'm not the consumer, okay? This is for you guys. So uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and show you what the raincoat looks like and then maybe, uh, you know, you can see what the real difference is here. All right, so I got the raincoat right here, pulled it out of the figure so everybody could take a look. It's pretty easy to just pop it right back in and get it up on eBay. So no harm, no foul. But uh, yeah, comes in this little uh, plastic uh, bag right here. And let's go ahead and uh, just pull it right out. Okay, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a raincoat, all right? Uh, I'll put it on the April figure just so you can take a look. But it's got this little uh, uh, hood flap, I guess. It's not really a hoodie, just kind of a flap, all right? And, uh, and then you got the place for the arms. And uh, yeah, it's just, uh, just sort of a raincoat. You know, I remember... Uh, didn't NECA say that they couldn't afford to put this into the regular April? Seems a little weird because this thing seems like it costs about like 75 cents. But anyway, that's not for me to judge. Let's go ahead and put it on the April and see what it looks like. All right, and here's April O'Neil wearing her yellow trench coat. And uh, I put uh, put the purse on her and the, and the whole microphone just so you kind of get the effect. So if, I, if I'm being honest here, now I don't collect these figures. This uh, does look a little... Uh, I don't know, looks a little flimsy. I guess it's okay, all right? If I had to chime in on my two cents, I'd say, 
maybe this would have been better if like down the line you had a new sculpted figure with a maybe a sculpted raincoat but what do i know all right i'm just uh i'm just your uh your your local flipper just trying to get this to you uh i also thought uh i mean this uh back part was a little weird with this weird flap here okay i mean it looks like it uh should have been a hood but uh i don't know it's got this it looks like she's in a marathon it should be a number on there i don't know what this piece is but uh i guess it exists there i mean the material looks okay it's like raincoat material but uh you know hey again who am i to say anything all right if you guys want this it's obviously a rare piece only two thousand of them made so that's all there is to it uh this is the uh, april o'neill uh signature edition okay you get the trench coat you get uh, this uh, signature, look, I feel like I'm the member of the press right here. <laughs> and uh, the rest is the same. So I didn't really open it because I kind of want to leave it, uh, leave the integrity of the box for whoever gets this thing. Again, 2,000 pieces. Uh, you can get them on eBay now. That's the rub, okay? Because that thing was going, last time I checked, I don't know, 300 400 $500 maybe. I only assume that it even went up from there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap this thing up and I'll put this on eBay. And uh, can't wait to see that money rolling in. Cha-ching!